Hello, everybody. I am Tara Affalter, also known as Mrs. A, and I teach awesome animals. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about my class. I have an awesome animal class K1 and a 2-3. So let me give you the differences. Obviously, we learn about animals. So in K1, we, I'm just going to show you, we, sometimes I pull out different books on different animals, like this is the Gila monster, and we'll read about the Gila monster, and then we'll talk about what we remember from it. We might write down different facts from it, and students would then maybe illustrate. I would help them write. I do help them scribe, but they have so many ideas. So those who can write, like my first graders, might give it a go and write on their own. Those who can't, I would scribe for them. They would. We would also talk about, okay, if you're gonna draw a Gila monster, what kind of environment do they are they in? So they would add some environment behind the scene as well. Sometimes we have written about, like we read about penguins, and then uh, this particular one says penguins cannot fly. Really nice job on their penguin. Sometimes we talk about what types of animals or what animals need and make flip books. So, and then I, I usually, especially K1, I will take them outside for me, like maybe five to seven minutes just to give them that little run time. And so that they can do something like sit and do and listen, go run and then come back in and do more. So that's kind of how I run that class. For my second and third graders that are doing awesome animals, they've been doing informational writing. So I've given them a notebook and we've talked about things that we need to know about the book, the animals, like this particular student is uh, reading about a kangaroo, the appearance, they've got gray, brown, white, black, big feet, big ears. So they're writing all the things that they saw. They've talked about environment, their young, their habitat, all, all of that. And then they're taking that and then creating of a whole piece of writing where they're doing some drawing, they're doing, they're taking those notes and they're writing um, complete sentences. So appearance, this is uh, all about Arctic wolves. Arctic wolves have beautiful white fur all year long, which helps them blend in with the snow. Its fur is white, long, thick, soft, and gets shorter when it gets warmer. It has a long furry tail and its legs are long and skinny, but fast. It has small ears to uh, keep in the warm air and a medium sized eyes and a nose. And then they have this little picture. They're talking about enemies and habitat, diet and young. So we did paper pencil, like a poster kind of. And then I'm teaching them how to use the computer to do informational writing as well. And they're creating text boxes and they've got their title and their subheadings and picking out pictures from the internet and writing captions. So that's what we're doing right now. I zip around and help all students. I will read for them. I will help them write. But the thing is, they can do it, especially with support. So even your reluctant writers love reading about animals and learning more about their animals. So those students, I will some, sometimes, like every other class, maybe take them outside for five to seven minutes because at home, like we need to really develop community too. So they get to, they want to have, it's fun to learn about animals and share with each other and they get excited about that. It's also fun to play together. So anyway, I would love it if your child would take awesome animals. We are gonna have fun.